guys, Dustin McDangles back here with another video and welcome back to the NHL season preview series here back in the Metropolitan Division today and we are going to be taking a look at the Pittsburgh Penguins. We'll take a look at how they finished off last year. We'll take a look at team stats, players in and out of the squad, as well as take a look at projected lines, contracts, and then we will predict what we think this team is going to do this upcoming season. So it'll be extremely exciting today. But if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're looking to grow to 750 subscribers before Christmas or before the new year. So hit that subscribe button if you guys are hockey fans and like anything hockey talk, we'll be doing it all season long. But without further ado, let's go ahead, hop into this video and take a look at the Pittsburgh Penguins. Having had a solid season last year, the Penguins finished up with 103 points, which was good enough for a record of 46, 25 and 11. Penguins made it to the Stanley Cup playoffs where they were actually bounced by the New York Rangers in seven games, four to three. Crazy series, Penguins thought they had it and a couple of calls went against them. And next thing you know, the Rangers moved on. Now again, all credit to the Rangers. They were the better team in the long run, but the Penguins had it in their grasp and they let it go this past season. Team stats, goals for, they were 11th in the league with goals against only being fifth. Power play, they were 20.2% with a penalty kill of 84.4%. All amazing stats. Leading point getters are the typical names. Actually leading the team, technically speaking, Jake Gensel, 84 points in 76 games played. Crosby had 84 in only 69 games played. Latang had 68 in 78 games played. And then we'll end that with Brian Rust, 58, game, 58 points in 68 games played. And one player to note, Malkin only had 42 points in 41 games played. He only played half the season. So definitely need to try to keep their team healthy if they want success this upcoming season. But when it comes to players in and out of the squad, players that have left the Penguins, you've got the likes of Evan Rodriguez having gone to the Colorado Avalanche, Mike Matheson having gone in the trade to Montreal, John Moreno in another trade actually going to the New Jersey Devils and then the Penguins elected not to bring back Brian Boyle. So those are the names out of the squad players into the Pittsburgh Penguins. Ty Smith in that trade with Moreno coming over from the New Jersey Devils. It'll be interesting and exciting to see him play this upcoming season. Josh Archibald coming back to the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's been away for a couple of seasons. Ryan Paling coming in from the Montreal Canadiens in that deal with Matheson as well as the biggest acquisition this offseason. Jeff Petrie on the back end. Solid elite defenseman will be interesting to see him come into the squad as well as Jan Ruta coming over from the Tampa Bay Lightning and not really really an acquisition, but more of a player that could potentially crack the lineup this year. Samuel Poulin, a draft pick of them a few years back. I expect to see him in the lineup this upcoming season. But talking about the lineup, we're actually going to take a look at their projected lines on the screen right now. Again, these are just projections at this point in time. And man, just looking at it, first glance, the Penguins are deep. First line, Gensel, Crosby, Raquel. You could really interchange Rust or Raquel on that first and second line. I think it really will depend on chemistry and how that goes. But I would actually expect Gensel, Crosby, Rust. That's the typical first line. And then you've got Zucker, Mulkin, and then probably Raquel on that second line. Zucker, big year coming up for him. It is a contract year, whether he comes back with the Penguins or not. Third line, O'Connor, Carter, Kapanen, younger kid in O'Connor. You obviously have the veteran presence down the middle with Carter. And then Kapanen didn't really have the best of seasons last year and will need a bounce back performance this upcoming season if you want to see him stick around as a penguin he only had 32 points in 79 games played so we'll have to see a little bit more out of him and then projected fourth line right now mcginn bluger and archibald again that's a pretty solid fourth line and the penguins i'd say finally have depth as long as they can stay healthy they have depth up front especially down the center of the ice on the back end you've got the classic pairing dumlin latang i expect them to be together you've got Pedersen and petrie looking like they will be that second pairing. And then you've got Smith and Ruta. I think Pedersen and Smith, you might see a little back and forth with who plays on that second pairing D, but this is really the first year in a long time where I can actually say, man, the Penguins actually look extremely deep on the back end. As long as they can stay healthy, things are looking good for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And then between the pipes, you've got Yari and DeSmith. So we'll have to wait and see how things work out. Yari had an amazing year last year. And hopefully he can continue that going on into this season. Obviously, the injury at the end of the year 
around playoff time was not ideal. He went 34, 18, and 6. Goals against was only 242 with a 919 save percentage. If you can have numbers like that this upcoming season, I expect the Penguins to be up near the top again because you can expect their forwards are going to be bumping. Speaking of players, note at this time, taking a look at their contracts right now. There's a lot of players, big name players that are going to be up after this upcoming season. Again, I mentioned Jason Zucker unrestricted after the series, making 5-5 at this point in time. They'll have to, I would say, wait and see what he's going to do and if he's going to be somebody that's going to be able to put it together and earn himself another contract or if he's going to move elsewhere. You've got Teddy Bluger, Danton Heinen, you got Josh Archibald, Ryan Paling, Drew O'Connor, all those guys, whether they're unrestricted or restricted, are on contract years. Teddy Bluger, I'd say one of the most noteworthy players. Just having that depth experience, it'll be interesting to see what he can put together this year. And on the back end, I'd say between the two defensemen, Brian Dumoulin, 31 years old, he's going to want a lot of money, and I don't know if the Penguins are going to be able to give it to him. I think that's maybe the one reason why they brought in Jeff Petrie, because I think Dumoulin, after this year, they can't re-sign him to a decent deal. We might be seeing him leave the squad after this upcoming season. And then you've got Ty Smith. I would say the jury is still out on him, considering the fact that last year was a down year for him. He's still on his entry-level contract, so it will be restricted at the end of this year unless they can get something done during the year, which I'd say the Penguins are, are known for doing. But Ty Smith, I'd say the jury is still out on him, and we will have to wait and see if he's going to be a player or not in the NHL. And then between the pipes, you've got Tristan Yari, who's got a contract year coming up. Is he going to have another unreal season, hopefully stay healthy and earn himself another big contract, maybe around that $5 million range? That's going to be interesting if the Penguins keep him around or not, uh, because... Again, ever since Flurry left, it's been Flurry, Matt Murray, Tristan Yari, Casey DeSmith. It's been all over the place, so it'll be interesting to see what Yari can do. He is only 27 years old. If he could put up a solid season, I think that'll put the Penguins in a good spot of being able to calmly say that they will definitely re-sign him. But when it comes to my predictions for this upcoming season, I expect the Penguins to be up there near the top of the division. I don't think at the top of the division. I think the potential winners of the division last year will be up at the top of the Carolina Hurricanes. But I think the Penguins will either be second or third this upcoming season. If they can keep healthy, their lineup is extremely deep with skill and grit that I think that they will be able to put a lot of pucks in the back of the net, which will equate to a lot of wins. So I expect around that 48 to 52 win range, the 105 to 112 point range. Again, I think they'll be good enough for second or third this season. And honestly, if they are healthy by the end of the year, I can expect them to have a deep run in the playoffs this upcoming season. So it'll be interesting to see what they can do if they can have the health this year. Can Kapanen step up? Can O'Connor step up? Can Rust and Zucker have solid years? Can Malkin get back to what Malkin does and score a ton of goals, get a ton of points? And then can we have the consistency of Crosby, Rust, and Gensel on that top line? And Gensel, man, that guy can score goals. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do this upcoming season. I'm interested to see Jeff Petrie coming over, Jan Ruda, the new faces on the back end meshing with the guys who have been here. It'll be interesting to see them. Can their power play stay up around that 20% range, even go to that 25% range. They definitely have the players to do it. And then on the back end, can the goaltending stay healthy? Can they be consistent enough to keep the puck out of the back of the net and be up around where they were last year of goals against being fifth in the league? I'd say if they're top 10 and both goals for and goals against, you can expect the Penguins to have a deep playoff run and really push for another Stanley Cup for their core group. Who? They just re-signed this offseason, Malkin and Latang back to the squad. So that was pretty nerve-wracking for some Penguins fans, but they are back and ready to make another run. But I want to hear from you Pittsburgh Penguins fans down below in the comments. What's going to be the biggest thing this year that the Penguins need to do in order to make the Stanley Cup and make a deep run, not just the playoffs, make the Stanley Cup? What is the one thing that you think that they're going to keep them from that, whether it's injury or just poor play from solid players? 
Let me know what you guys think down, down below in the comments and what you think is going to happen with the Pittsburgh Penguins this year. But if you've made it to this point in the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You guys have been awesome. I appreciate the love and support you've been showing me the last few weeks. We've been growing like crazy, so let's keep that going. But that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help. But I hope you guys have a good one. And as always, stay dusty.